Hello everyone, and um, just wanted to uh, do a quick tutorial, well maybe not a quick, I'll see if I can fill up the time, of uh, um, U uh, UGE, which is the uh, Universal Game Editor, um, here it is, Hartman Game Utilities, uh, copyright 1993 by Jack Hartman, yes, it is quite old. Um, I've mentioned in one of my videos for Pool of Radiance that um, I uh, tried to find uh, any, you know, reference to this guy uh, online just a few years ago. I mean, you know, directly related to him, like uh, a new website that he had or something like that, because uh, I actually, I mean, I, I found this program really useful, and I, I did actually want to uh, register it and, uh, um, uh, you know, give him some money, but uh, unfortunately he seems to have dropped off the uh, map. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and hit any key, okay. So this is the um, basic menu. Um, and yeah, I have found that there there are ways to register this. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Um, so as you can see, I currently have um, modules for Pool of Radiance, Curse of the Azure Bond, Secret of the Silver Blades, Pools of Darkness, Champions of Crin, uh, Death Knights of Crin, another Death Knights of Crin, Dark Queen of Crin, Dark Queen of Crin again. Um, Offhand, I do not remember what the differences are between these and why this one has asterisks after it, but uh, probably means that uh, I was I was trying different things, um, come up with uh, uh, more of the variables. Um, anyway, let me quit out for a second and uh, let's do a dir uh, on the folder. Okay, so. As you can see, there are all these MDL files. Uh, those are modules. Those are essentially um, uh, what UGE actually uses to keep track of the editing, uh, the edits. Um, and you see an LST that that's a list. You can list out the uh, um, variables in the module and basically use it as a reference so that people know what the individual uh, uh, variables do. Um, one thing to notice, you'll see a lot of these CKIT class, CKIT Claire, th that's all stuff for um, uh, Universal Adventures, the uh, gold box, you know, make a gold box game from SSI. Um, but uh, uh, there's ones that I've gotten. Okay, so that's that. So um, let's go ahead and uh, UGE. And uh, so we've we've been working with Pool of Radiance. So um, well, actually, let's go ahead and um, basically do a new one. So hit A to add a game to the list. You you name it. Let's temp. Oops. Temp game. All right, and then you have an option of choosing the MDL file that you have stored. Um, if you are doing a brand new one, like uh, I'm going to show you, um, you choose the uh, flashing new file. Hit enter. Give it a name. Test Z. Okay, and then it. Um, you know, you, you go through and choose the uh, save game that you want to modify. So let's go into Pool of Radiance, since that's what I've been um, using. And um, I think my saves are in here, actually. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I don't, I don't remember exactly where they are. Anyway, um, well, let's go ahead and, and choose that one. Okay, so... Uh, you have a blank uh, variable name and value window. Uh, so what you do is you hit T for tools to create variables. And that gives you the raw uh, view of the file. You can see every single um, character in the game, uh, in the file. Uh, and this is not a hex editor because the files are stored are not stored as hex. They're uh, uh, decimal. Um, so uh, this being Pool of Radiance, I already know what some of these uh, are, and you can see on this side the 
um, you know, the, the individual, the value of each individual byte, um, you know, so that's a 9, 67, but then if you look on the right-hand side, you see that, you know, what the um, actual character value of that is. So you see, you know, A-L-E-X Alexander, so um, here you can see this is a character name. So, and uh, you see this number here, 9, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so you know, oh hey, that determines the uh, length of the character. Now, if you're not sure, or if you want to compare, like you know, you, you know, you see this number, you say 9, there's 9 characters in this name. Is it just a coincidence? Uh, what you can do is you can split the screen, and then you can view two files at the same time. So, let's, let's see, I got this one. So, there we go. So, Dragon, 6. Dragon has 6 characters, so, you know, there, boom. I know that that uh, has to be um, the variable for the length of the name. Um, and I have tested this out. If you set this to, um, let's say, on Alexander, if you set it to 4, it'll just display in the game A-L-E-X. And while these will be stored in the save file, it doesn't actually display them. Then you see that, you know, here you've got 18, 18, 18, and, and on the bottom 25, 25, 25, and then 100 and 0. Well, knowing the game has six stats uh, of, you know, 3 to, or 1 to uh, uh, 25, it gives you a good idea that that's what those are. Um, and for Pool of Radiance and, and the other Gold Box games, you know, you can create a brand new character, let it roll up the uh, values randomly, write those down on a piece of paper or something like that, and then uh, um, jump over here into UGE and you'll be able to map out exactly which ones of these there are. And then you know that that is, you know, 100 for 1800 strength. So let me go ahead and unsplit the screen. And so that's basically the, you know, uh, basic usage of the game, you know, you uh, um, determine, you know, by jumping in and out of the game what um, each variable is based on, on what you know. Um, you can do a go-to offset, which would be uh, the actual, um, you know, what position this is. So you see that the 9 is 0, the A and Alex would be uh, the A in Alexander would be 1, so let's go to 12. You know, boom, right there, that's 12. So if you uh, go to offset 156, actually, let's go to 157. Boom, right there. Um, so if you have a good idea of where the offsets are, where, you know, if you have uh, it, it mapped out, you know, written down on a piece of paper again, um, you can immediately jump to a specific area in, in a save file. Um, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and um, let's say we want to create a variable so that we don't have to go in here. I mean, because you can actually um, uh, modify exactly what these are. Um, I forget how offhand, but basically you can. Um, oh yeah, alter a byte A. So, you know, it's currently 9, so let's make it 10. Yeah, boom, right there. Alter it and make it a 9 again. Um, but let's say you don't want to do that. You know, this is this is annoying, you know. Um, you want a much simpler way of doing it. So you can make a variable. Uh, it comes up as variable 0001. So we know what this is. Let's say name length. Oops. My caps lock is kind of screwy in DOSBox right now. So name length. Uh, enter the offset, that's the start position for this variable. We'll go with 0. Uh, it is 1 byte, 0 through 255. It can be 1 byte, uh, positive or negative 127. 2 bytes, 4 bytes, or, you know, so many letters, up to 20. So, yeah, it's probably safe to bet that this is just 0 through 255. There's no, you know, it, the, the names have a maximum character length of something like 14 anyway, so uh, you're pretty good there. So there you go. 
and um, let's say we want to make a variable for this. Uh, again, it helps to know exactly how long you can make the names in the game. Uh, like I said, I think it's 14. So, I mean, since this is just a test, it doesn't matter. So, let's say, oops, character name. Again, enter the offset. It, it, it defaults to whatever you're currently on. So, one. Um, so, I'm going to make a guess that it's 14 letters. There you go. Uh, and then you know you and, and you'll see that when it's text, when it's characters, it's it's uh, here in yellow, whereas numerals are in red. Uh, I know that this is strength, so let's make a variable strength, and it's just one byte zero through two fifty five. And then when you get down here, you'll see name length, character name strength. So boom, right there you can you know, just hit enter, change the variable to 17, boom. 17 strength now. Back to 18. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's really handy. You can go back into tools. Um, I don't think I can, I, I don't know his experience. Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's do that in, a, in, in here. Um, this is already on Moon Channel. Let's go find her experience. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Actually, you know, okay, platinum pieces. No, it's not not high enough. Never mind. Um, there we go. So her experience is, you know, seventy seven fifty nine. I'm just writing that down so that I don't forget it. And uh, let me page back up to go to the beginning. Now, we know that, um, I mean, because this, this shows the individual bytes, and a byte can be 0 through 255 in value, uh, so you can't show in one single byte 70, 75. However, you can do a find. You can find a text, numeric, or group. I honestly do not know what a group does. I have not messed with that one. But um, we can find numeric. And you have an option of going, you know, 0 through 2,147,000, uh, I mean, 2,147,483,647. Uh, uh, I believe that is a 4-bit uh, um, uh, numeral text, or, or uh, numeral string. So let's look for 70, 759. So let's say I've been playing the game. I just wrote down uh, her experience while in the game. Hop out, go into UGE, put punch this in, boom, found it right there. Um, again, you, you would then make a new variable, enter the offset, and we know that you can have more than six 65,000 experience points in this game, so there you go. You know, you're going to go with the 4-byte, positive and negative, 2 billion, blah, blah, blah. And you'd make that. And then you come out here, and let's go down and find it. And there it would be, right there. And you can modify it right like that. So it, it's really powerful. Um, it's really useful. Um, however, again, as it is a decimal editor and not a hex editor, uh, if you are working with any program that actually saves the data in hex, you'll have to do the, the calculations uh, manually. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. And a lot of it is plain, you know, just, just you, you set, you know, like I found this one by putting in a, a 1, where it says zero, going into the game and seeing that, oh, uh, the, the character is showing up as, as uh, alive, but if I go into a battle, they're dead. So I know that that means it's combat ready. There, it's some kind of status, internal status that says combat ready. Um, and that's basically just how I uh, went through it. So you got uh, um, your portraits, portrait head and portrait body, uh, combat icon, colors, so, and then a lot of these variables are just things that I have never figured out yet. So, uh, that's a quick tutorial on UGE.